Hi friends, this is Miss Pam here with you again and I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're enjoying using the video lessons that I have uploaded to our YouTube channel. So I just wanted to give you a short introduction on the materials that I've chosen and how you can use them at home and to give you some tips and strategies on how I do things in our classroom and hopefully they'll be useful to you at home. Okay, with our video lessons posted, I want you to view the lessons when the student is ready. Um, each video lesson has activities geared toward learning in the home environment. So I always try to choose stories, modified grade level narratives that are useful to the student in learning some new skill or an activity that is fun for them and meets them at the level where they are ready to learn. And also I want you to view the videos often. If we were back in my classroom, I would read the story and do the activities with the students sometimes five days, ten days, fifteen days or more. It really depends on the level of student engagement. It depends on their absenteeism rate. It depends on the complexity of the material and also if the student is ready to learn. If I see the student is having some difficulty with the material or the um, manipulatives or the toys that we're using along with the narratives, then I change things. I try to meet the student where they're at as far as their learning level. I always want to make things accessible and ready for them. Everything that we use during a lesson needs to be relevant to the student. So if they don't understand the materials or they're not interested, they are not going to want to learn. So we always want to make sure that we travel at their pace. Let them be the guide. They will tell us when they're ready. So that's how I do things in my classroom and I think if you try those few strategies at home you will see some measure of success. So view the videos often. Repetition is the key. Reading the story over and over again several days in a row. You can vary up the activities but try to keep to the specific learning objective that is stated in each video. And I always want the student to explore, learn, and have fun. Because if we're not having fun while we're learning, we do not want to learn. And that goes for the student as well as the teachers. And now parents, you are the teachers and I am the coach. So while we're using this coaching model during the distance learning phase, Oh, please always keep in mind the student needs to explore, learn, and have fun. And if at any time you need strategies or suggestions or you're having problems or you would like to see different types of material posted, please don't hesitate to contact me. My phone number and my email are both here in the PowerPoint and I welcome all suggestions and I don't mind if you text me or call me or email me. And just to let you know that all of the stories and the modified grade level text, all the activities that I have chosen for the students are based on their specific learning level and all of these suggestions for my material come from the Healthy Beginnings curriculum which has milestone indicators for ages birth through 36 months. Okay that's it. Thank you for viewing my short introduction video. All student photos used in this uh, video were used with parent permission 
and they are pictures of my former students who I love and miss so much and during this time of distance learning please um, refer back to this video often and if you have any questions please let me know okay see you friends